In this video, we're just going to have a look at how you can update a value inside your posts um, based on advanced custom fields. The scenario is in the new post that you're creating, you're updating an advanced custom field every time you save the post, but you have a whole lot of posts, um, older posts that you need to update as well. Um, but that would require you going through each post one at a time. And now what you want to do is you want to update a, a, a bulk set of posts with um, all at the same time. So in this scenario, for example, I have a, a custom field, advanced custom field, um, which I've activated. All that it does is it's a select field, a radio select, and allows me to se select draft, pending, or publish. So if we have a look at that, it's simply the post status, it's a radio button, and it has the choices draft, pending, and publish. Now this field is updated every time the post is saved. So if I head over here and this um, post is currently published and I then publish the post and once it's published, I refresh the post, you'll see now that my advanced custom field value um, will update to publish, right? So we've just published it. And if I switch this back to draft, and I refresh, you will see that the advanced custom field is set back to draft. So it's fine when I'm uh, working on new posts, because when I create a new post and I save, it, it, it heads over to publish. But I have a whole lot of posts, and these posts have been published. So I have another published post, for example, I can just pick on any of these. Now the advanced custom field that I've implemented has a default of draft. So all the older posts now have the incorrect value. Now what I want to do is I want to run a script once that goes through all the posts and make sure that the advanced custom field has the same value as the um, post status. So to do that, I'm going to head over to my snippets and I'm using code snippets, which is a plugin that allows you to add uh, snippets so that you can run functions on your website without having to edit the template files. So it's quite handy when you need to run a function. And um, it has several options available to you. So you'll see that when it comes to running a function, you can run it everywhere in administration area, uh, on the front end only, or only run once. So we obviously going to select the only run once. And it's not technically a function. It's just a PHP script that we're going to run. And basically what we do, because I'm targeting the posts, so the arguments for the uh, get posts is going to just be post type is equal to post and post per page is minus one. Now the minus one is important in this case because I want to target all the posts. If you don't, you might find that your script only picks up on whatever your default is and it might then only update say 10 or 12 of the posts. So the minus one is important to make sure that it works. You can use other options here in the in the arguments. Uh, that's all that I needed to update these posts. Then what we do is once we have those posts, so all posts will be equal to get posts based on those parameters. Now what we do is we um, basically uh, loop through that array of posts. So we say for each all posts as post. And the first thing we're going to do then is get the post ID. So the post ID is equal to post ID. Then we get this, the current status. So the status equal get posts post ID. Now, if I was going to manually set the post status, I would just type in what the status is here. So using the update field, this is where you enter the value that you want to insert into the advanced custom field field. And this is the field key for that field. And then right at the end, we have the post ID. So update field, what field? This key with this value for this post. And the status now, we're going to use the, the status equal to get post status, which is um, available from WordPress. And then we input the post ID so that we get the status for the post that we are looping through. So now to update, I'm going to copy the status and I'm just going to then replace draft with um, the status and with that done then 
I have the option and the choice now to either just say save changes, which is great if you just want to save it before running. And if you're happy that your uh, code is correct, then you can push the button and save changes and execute once. What's happening now is all the posts have been updated. So I'm going to head back to the website and you'll see this post is actually published, although the custom field is on draft. So when I refresh the page now, you'll see that the custom field is also unpublished. If I head back to all the other posts, and it doesn't matter which post I go to, you will see that the custom field now has been updated. So that is also unpublished when it was originally created. It was set on draft as the default for all the posts. If I head over to a post that was in draft, you will see that it is still in draft. So if I then publish, then you will see now that the post will be updated. So with that done, let's refresh and you'll see the draft status now changes to publish. So in order to make that work, what we did is we had a second snippet. So the one snippet is to update all the posts and the second one then just updates the post status on save. And if we have a look at that, it's um, really quite simple. We have this add action ACF save post. And when uh, that action runs, this is the function to apply. This is what it must do. And we bring in the post ID variable here. So what it does is when I save the post, it fetches the post ID. The status then is equal to get post status and it calls the ID. So it's going to be get the post status of this current post, then update the field. There we have the, the field name, then we update it with the value status, and then of course what to update, and it's this post ID. So when advanced custom fields goes to update the field in the database, it knows to update that field with that value for that post. And that's basically, um, what we're doing here in this particular instance. So that's how you can then update the values of all your posts at the same time, and then also how you can do something to update the advanced custom field on a post save. And you can really have, you can have an if statement. In this case, we've just updated a field, but uh, we could also have um, run an if statement as well. So yeah, that's just very basically then how you can accomplish that. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for watching.